Hello friends and family, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever time of day it is, I hope it's going well. Today we're talking about farming legendaries and how to do it. Now, to me, the best way to farm legendaries is simply just by killing enemies. That, that's one of the easiest ways, to be honest. To just find legendary enemies, go into a wiki, wherever find where the legendary guaranteed spawns are and just keep replaying through that if you really want to do that but if you don't want to go and kill things and you're not down to do that you can do a thing i'll show it to you so let's first of all let's equip our perks to let me let me equip inspiration oh goodness gracious we want we have super duper so we can craft double and there should be oh there's ammo smith you could have uh gunsmith uh you can craft tier five guns so let's get rid of that and like i don't know first aid whatever let's put gunsmith that's all we need to create our weapons that we want to make so now we go to the weapons workbench okay now that we're in our weapons workbench, let's just create uh, any gun we want. But I already have some guns. Let's just say we want to build a 10 mil. Let's build a level 45 10 mil, whatever. Exit. Next thing we do, Tinker's workbench. I think it's in the Tinker's. I could be completely wrong. No, it's not in the Tinker's. I'm probably going to cut that out now. Let me go back to here. Yes switch to modify now we have two 10 mil pistols because we just happened that just happened to happen we can do a random two shot gatling plasma so we can change the legendary on it, it it's a two shot i'm not going to do it but we need legendary cores and legendary modules now i should have there should be an, uh, a tutorial on how to get both those weapons on my channel I'm pretty sure unless I've deleted it if I have I will make another video on how to get legendary modules and all that goodness gracious that's what you're gonna do pretty much after you get all your weapons you make them you're just gonna keep going through that after you farmed all of your things that you need all of the uh, what's it called? The, all of the cores and the legendary modules. Legendary cores, are, they're not that hard to get. It's the modules that are quite hard to get. Uh, I currently forget how to get modules. Um, uh, well, a way to get modules is just by doing, completing events. And I believe through the scoreboard is also one of the best ways. So... Yeah, legendary modules. You get them in Fallout first. That's that's something that can you can get. Legendary modules three. I don't know what level this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just by getting to level eight on the scoreboard, rank eight, you will get three modules. That's that's how you pretty much get them. That's one of the best ways. They're just finishing the scoreboard will do you greatly for that and you'll keep doing this until you get your desired three star to be honest there's there's not much to that one now there is some events that we'd like to look out for radiation rumble being one of them it will fit from one to three different legendaries you, you'll get one of the one you'll get one to three different legendaries if you play uh one just once I think it's a 15, 10, 15 minute event, but it's, it's hella fun. You've got so many enemies, so many, so much is going on. And if you play with a lot of other people, oh, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. If you run this two to three times, you can fill your script limit quite easily, but I've done it in one go where you just play once and then I filled my, my script limit just playing radiation rumble once. I mean, I, you have to get lucky a little bit, but two to three times will that that'll certain you'll get it. Uh, if you'd like a, to do it a different way, other than just events, there's 
there are specific locations that you can go to with a guaranteed legendary spawning. I'm not sure where they are. I, I forget exactly those locations, but I think uh, it's it's not like West Tech or anything. It's none of those places. It's it's like literally random places. I forget right now. I'll have to, you have to look it up. I, I can leave it in the description. Perhaps. Uh, One Violent Night, though, is also guaranteed of a legendary right at the end of the event. It's also possible for another two to spawn throughout the event. So that's, that's you know, three legendaries there with that. Uranium Fever will spawn three legendary enemies. No questions asked. Uh, unless Bethesda isn't on your side, then, <laughs> then uh, you're just a bit unlucky there. And I can't lie, sometimes Bethesda just isn't on your side sometimes. Leader of the pack will give you three legendaries, but notably, there will only be one stars, and the level of the weapon will be the level of your player. So if you're starting to do it at like level three, that event, then you'll get level three weapons. That's how that event works, leader of the pack. From what I've um, heard or read, um, seven Scorch Beasts could spawn from the event surface to air. And they all have their chance. I, I don't know if everyone can be legendary or I think every one of them has their chance to be legendary. I don't think every single one of them will be legendary, but I believe it is possible if you're really, really lucky. I haven't done this event for uh, a while. I don't remember it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's guaranteed good loot and legendaries in that one. That's probably a top tier event to try. Uh, last event to note though is Scorched Earth. This event will always spawn three legendary items at the end and it, it'll have a heap of chances for legendary enemies. There's every single enemy here. You can have Yao Guys, Death Claws, all different enemies, Rad Scorpions, all, all like enemies like that. And there'll be no like humans, there'll be a ton of ferals. But no humanoid, like no super mutants or or any humans. And uh, lastly, though, this isn't to do with events or anything. Th those were all the events that I believe that are the ones you should be looking out for for legendaries. Uh, but if this is all too much for you, that's okay. You can simply just go for an XP run that you know you'd usually do, and not think about getting the legendaries. And 100% a legendary will pop up it's it's not that uncommon to find a legendary in 76 it's it's not like oh my gosh i just found a legendary weapon that's crazy it, it's not like that 76 it's not like fallout 4 when you get really really excited or because you're gonna get a great weapon usually the drops in fallout 76 aren't really that worth the mo the most yeah, the best weapon you'll get is probably when you buy it when you you craft the weapon yourself and then create it create the legendary from whatever and the workbench uh, actually in the daily ops though daily ops will or the pit they will have pretty much certain spawns you could just keep redoing uh, daily ops though that that's probably better than the pit the pit you can I think only pretty much do one a day Pretty much it's you have to grind a bit to keep doing the pit from last time that I did it Last time I played the pit. I don't play the pit that often. It's not the most amazing thing for me I like just playing through the events for me events is my favorite way to get legendaries Eviction notice has always been the best way for me that I have seen eviction notice as one of the new events. Previously, Radiation Rumble was really, really good, especially for XP. If you're looking for XP and legendaries, just do Radiation Rumble. Just, just search for Radiation Rumble to keep uh, server hopping until you get that, get that going. Yeah, that's uh, that's my little um, talk for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've I've been trying to get a a few ideas lately on how to on what videos to do. I haven't uploaded a video like this before, I don't believe, or at least not recently. And I'm trying to get a few more videos out again for your guys. 
for, for to be helpful really and I, and I hope you do enjoy enjoy all these videos that I'm trying to get out I enjoy making them uh, as much as I hope you guys enjoy watching them I, I get a lot of nice comments as well I, I'd like to thank you all for that one for all that um, remember to like subscribe comment if you'd like never force you to do it of course and yeah guys have a great evening afternoon night morning whatever time of the day or night it is have a good one ciao guys